In this YouTube video, we will guide you through the process of creating camera animations in Unreal Engine and rendering them using the Movie Render queue. We will then show you how to convert the image sequence into a video using Blender. Let's get started. First, right-click and locate the Cinematics option, where we'll create our level sequencer. Give the sequencer a name, such as the name of our camera. Then go to the Outliner, find the camera, and drag it onto the sequencer. Once the camera is selected, create keyframes for its location and rotation using the transform settings. Decide on the movement you want for the camera. In this case, we'll make it move from right to left by dragging it and creating another keyframe. Play the sequence to preview the camera movement. If it looks good, you've successfully created keyframes. You may also want to adjust the frames per second FPS, for your scene. For this example, we use 24 FPS. Make sure your video ends at frame 94 to 95 to avoid extending beyond that point. Next, let's explore the Movie Render queue options. Click on the first option and navigate to Cinematics to select the Movie Render queue. If it's not available, you'll need to go to the plugin settings and search for Movie Render queue. Make sure both options are checked then restart your engine. After restarting, go to the window section and click on Movie Render Queue. Here, you'll find the level sequencer you created earlier, such as, Camera 3. If you have saved presets for this scene, you'll see them here too. Select the recent level sequencer. To ensure the highest quality, clear the configuration and choose the EXR format instead of JPG. Check the camera settings and set it to frame close. Enable high resolution settings, overriding surface scattering if necessary.
Finally, set the anti-aliasing option to multi-sample anti-aliasing. Check the output settings to specify where you want to save the rendered images. Create a file and give it a name. Remember to save your preset with these settings for future scenes. Click Save and Accept. To render your scene, click on Render. This will compile the shaders and render the scene. You can monitor the progress through the Render Preview. Please note that the curtain shears might appear dark due to Unreal Engine's current lack of support for translucency with Lumen. The rendered scene will be saved in your specified folder. To compile the rendered images, we'll use Blender. You can also use other Adobe software, but Blender is convenient and faster. Once our images are rendered, we need the image sequence to create the final video. To edit our videos, we'll start by opening Blender and navigating to the top left corner. Click on Video Sequencer to activate it and split the screen accordingly. In Blender, click on Video Sequencer again and set up another panel for previewing the video. Add an image sequence by clicking Add and selecting the folder containing the rendered images. Make sure you have the correct file selected and choose all the necessary images. Now, let's focus on the frames. Go back to Unreal Engine to determine the length of your video. In our case, we reached about 95 frames. Set the end frame to 95 and ensure the start frame is set to zero. Once you've made those adjustments, you'll see your video taking shape. Preview it to ensure it looks as desired. Now, let's proceed to the settings and specify the folder where you want to save the final video. Create a new folder for this purpose, and once you've selected it, click Accept and review the other settings. Then select the file format as FFmpeg and choose a good encoding speed. To ensure the correct frame range, adjust the frame settings accordingly until you find the desired end frame. In our case, we set it to 94. Also, make sure the encoding speed is set to good for optimal quality. Once you're ready, click Render Animation. That's it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. We'll see you next time.